Here is another amazing collection of game-inspired art created by the Mid-Journey AI. This time about the Command & Conquer real-time strategy franchises like Tiberium, Red Alert and Generals, as well as art from a few other RTS games. In my previous similar video about StarCraft art, I explained how you yourself can create fantastic art like this using this new incredible tool that Midjourney AI is. Not to repeat myself on the process, you can learn about it using the link up here and below. And so in this video, while you enjoy the varied Command & Conquer and other RTS artworks, I want to tell you more about the underlying technology of this incredible artificial intelligence tool. Let us first begin with what artificial intelligence is in general. It is complex learning and thinking done by machines. Simple as that. Computer scientist John McCarthy coined the term in 1955 and like Alan Turing before him, they knew computers could someday trick humans into thinking they were human too. What an AI does specifically depends on its algorithm. That algorithm is basically a list of rules for solving a problem. Usually a machine learning system is made up of a huge amount of raw data and a model that does something with that data, like analyzing it or transforming it. AIs are everywhere today, from Google search to your Netflix recommendations. But what is AI art then? You can call it a tool, a program, a new form of artistic expression for those not talented in the ways of drawing, brush strokes or even computer mouse strokes. This new type of AI gives users the ability to write a number of descriptive words, input them into machine learning program and let the software export many different variations of graphic images almost instantly. Granted, the final results aren't always what you expect to see or could have imagined, but most of the time the AI algorithm will surprise you quite a bit. Now I'm not going to go into the whole can of worms about its ethics or laws. Like is this real human art if only the input is human and the machine learning was done on art created by humans? But you can tell me in the comments what you think. Is it more a product of the machine or the human behind the machine? There are more interesting questions like that to ask yourself. Do human value art that is real or does it only matter if the art invokes an emotion? Are some art mediums more valuable than others as we are moving on to the digital space more and more? Is word prompt writing an actual skill in creating art like this? There is the now famous example of an AI art image winning in a digital arts competition and being granted the main prize even after the judges found out that the art was generated by an AI. It was clearly stated but they simply overlooked that fact initially. Another interesting fact, in 2018, the first AI-generated painting to be auctioned fetched a price tag of over 400,000 and it was inkjet printed onto a canvas by a GAN algorithm, or as its full name states, General Adversarial Network. You can bet a lot of heads were turning that day. This system is made of two components, the generator tries to produce original images, while the discriminator contains a database of many images and discriminates whether the generator's work is truly new. The two are in a dialogue of sorts, the generator trying to outsmart the discriminator, hence adversarial as in enemies in its name. One such variation that is becoming more and more popular in 2022 is the VQGAN plus clip system which can produce original images from natural language prompts, meaning you type in a descriptive sentence and the AI tries to turn that into an accurate image. This is the case for AIs like Dale E2, Imagine and lastly Midjourney AI. Then there are Convolutional Neural Networks, or CNN, tools like Google's Deep Dream. These do what your own brain does in the dark, seeing patterns, even faces in the shadows. Deep Dream finds and embraces patterns, producing psychedelic images. Unless you code it yourself, the patterns are dictated by what the creator trained the AI with. 
At one point, a system based on dog breeds went viral with users making images filled with tiny dog faces. Lastly, there is Neural Style Transfer or NST. This Neural Style Transfer is basically image stylization, turning one input image into the style of another. You could enter a photo of yourself and receive an output image of you in the style of Van Gogh. Not quite new, not quite the original. With artificial intelligence becoming incorporated into more aspects of our daily lives, from writing to driving, it is only natural that artists would also start to experiment with it. And now we, regular folks, can do the same. I will let you enjoy the rest of these images, and if you want to see what new RTS games like Common and Conquer are coming soon, watch the video linked up here and below in the description. Enjoy!